guys. So I just wanted to make a quick video about PlayStation 5 120 hertz situation. So as you probably know, there's a lot of people here who are struggling to get 120 hertz, even though their monitor is 120 hertz. Right, it's a 120 hertz monitor. They plug it in and they can't get 120 hertz. And I've seen a lot of YouTube video where people go, <laughs> guys, you, all you have to do <laughs> is going to save data, game preset, and go on performance mode, and it'll work. It's so simple. You guys are so stupid. No, this still didn't work for me. I, I went into the game pre... I actually did it before even looking at any YouTube videos because I knew that was going to be an option. And I went into it, and I still couldn't get 120 hertz. It, I just couldn't. Now, I've linked a video in the description. It's by, a, he's not known at all, he's got like 80 subscribers. He's made a really good video on how to do this, way better than mine, because I'm really shit at editing, so I don't know. You know, he's already made the video, so I might as well just link it. You know, I just want to spread the word, so in case meant some people haven't seen his video, they might see this and then see his. So basically what he tells you in this video is, so also make sure you check the pinned comment in his video, because this actually happened to me and I read the pinned comment and it worked. And now, as you can see, I, I never used to be able to get this, but as you can see, 120 Hertz right here. Now this is a 1080p monitor, right? If you look close, you can see the, well, you can see the pixels, right? This is one. This is a 1080p monitor, 100%. Uh, you can search it up. This is the monitor. It's 1080p strictly. But as you can see, if we go into resolution, I have the option to make it 4K. Obviously, this won't work because it's 1080p. But um, yeah, this is because of an EDID emulator. So basically, it's a 4K EDID emulator I bought off Amazon. 20 quid or $25, I don't really know. Um, but if you look at the back of my monitor, I don't know if you can see, but basically, I don't think you guys can see. But basically, it's not my HDMI, well, it is my HDMI from the PS4, PS5, I mean. But it's the HDMI plugged into the EDID and then the EDID plugged into the monitor. Now I did all this and then it said um, out of range. And uh, when it said out of range, basically I got on my phone, which is what I'm recording with, and um, I changed it to, I, ch I went on remote play and I changed the resolution from 4K, because this monitor is in 4K, to 1080p. And now, 120 hertz works perfectly. So um, that's basically it, really. Um, you just get the EDID emulator, and um, once you get it, you just follow the video in the description. Thanks, shout out to that guy. I forgot his channel name, but um, make sure you check that video out. And um, it, because this monitor, I don't know, if someone has this, this monitor right here, you can go on the PS5 if you have one, which is very hard to get these days, and you can confirm that 120 hertz doesn't normally work unless there's been a firmware update. Well, as of today, it doesn't work without an EDID simulator. And now it does work, as you can see, 120 hertz. So it does work now. So thanks to the EDID simulator, emulator I mean and um, thanks to the guy the YouTube video that I found of the guy because all the other mon all the other videos were just some stupid ass people going on about just change it to performance mode or some other guy was like yo just buy another monitor I was like oh I'm sorry do you think everyone in the world are popular YouTubers that make 10 minute videos when they only really need to be two seconds just so you can steal money, dickhead. No, we're not everyone like that. I'm not gonna buy a whole new monitor 
Well, I already have an above 120 hertz, just because some shit no. But 20 pounds, or 25 dollars, that I can work with. That I can work with, alright? So, 120 hertz works. <laughs> um, so, yeah. It's fun. Because you get good quality games, like good graphics, and 120 hertz, like on here, and it's pretty cool to look at. You know, good graphics and 120 hertz. That's something you'd see in like a really expensive graphics card, and that I like really expensive. But this is only 500 pounds, 450 pounds actually. So yeah, that's how you do it basically. Uh, there's not much to say really, just check the video. Check out the video in the description and enjoy it. Also look, um, yeah. It's nice to see, you know, you can do this basically on any monster. I believe you can even do it on 60 hertz monsters, although I don't see why you would do that, it literally makes no difference. But still, so yeah, you guys go ahead and do that, thanks for watching, goodbye.